guys, how are y'all doing today? My name is Trash House Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. Man, I keep saying that all the time, but it never gets old. And today what I have for you guys is another Indiana Jones movie review. Today we're tackling the third movie out of the Indiana Jones trilogy. Wait, I'm wrong. There's one more. We'll get that to the next video. Yes, we're tackling Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Now, going into this, uh, uh, when, the, when you look at Raiders of the Lost Ark, you have a movie that is very much uh, a classic, right? You have all these characters, and you're like, okay... It's about, uh, it's in the desert, and you got some cool side characters, you got a badass action hero, Indiana Jones, uh, over a Christian artifact, and then in the Temple of Doom, if you haven't seen that review, go check it out, uh, it's very much different, you know, it, it, it's very like, uh, you know, it's, it's darker, it's a little bit more comedic in a way, um, but it, it is a lot darker, and there's a lot of different things and a different tone going on. And then the Last Crusade kind of, I guess, kind of went, okay, uh, no one liked Temple of Doom, apparently, I don't know, I love the movie. Um, so we're going to go back to The Last Crusade. We're going to have uh, Indiana Jones in the desert with some side characters. A little bit of dark stuff, but a little bit more comedic. Uh, this is by far the most lighthearted movie out of, four, out of the four movies. Um, and then you also go, okay, it also... Uh, I don't know how to word it. It's just... It, it's also in the desert looking for another freaking, uh, you know, Christian artifact with the Last Supper Cup, you know? And it's just like, okay... That's cool, but it's kind of the same. You know how a lot of people said The Force Awakens was kind of like a new hope? I don't mind that, but it is true. You know, they do tweak things, and I love The Force Awakens, but it is like a new hope. And then The Last Jedi, everyone hates for no reason. As you guys know, The Last Jedi is by far my favorite Star Wars film. Uh, I think The Last Jedi is kind of like Temple of Doom, or Jurassic World 2, Fallen Kingdom. You know, it's different, but in a lot of ways, it's better because it is different, you know? And, and The Last Crusade... Is kind of like that, that, you know, return to form for Indiana Jones. But anyway, I digress. So, uh, the movie opens up with young Indiana Jones. Of course, you guys have probably seen this already. With River Phoenix, who was Joaquin Phoenix's brother. I believe River sadly has passed away uh, for a little while now. Uh, but Joaquin Phoenix, of course, was in the, the Joker film. Uh, again, one of my favorite films of all time. I just rewatched it, I think, the fourth or fifth time with my father. And man, we, he effing loved it. I loved it. Just a great movie. Um, so yeah, River Phoenix is young Indiana Jones. I never knew that until now. It even says in the back of the cover here, uh, where does it say that? Yeah, River Phoenix, right there. Uh, so yeah, so this is what is it? 126 minutes, 1989, the same year as Tim Burton Batman. Uh, rated PG-13 for just no reason. Uh, it says here, I mean, there's reasons, but not here. Um, and again, it's a very straightforward movie. You know, you have Indiana Jones, Brody's back, uh, Sala is back, you have, uh, Elsa, not the Queen of Ice, the other hot Elsa. Uh, and then of course you also have, uh, what's his face, uh, uh Donovan. Who's trying to you know conquer the world and all that with the, with the cup? Um, yes, it's kind of the same as Raiders, but it's different and that it's funnier and that it has a lot of great action. Uh, most of the CGI problems I had were kind of fixed in this one, which is kind of nice. Um, it's still not perfect, but you know it is what it is. Um, but there's a lot of great stuff in here that boils down to the comedy, and really the the best and worst thing about the Last Crusade is the comedy because you get a lot of that uh, father and son dynamic between. Henry uh, Sr. and Henry Jr. Um, Indiana Jones was named after his dog, Indiana, which is kind of funny. Um, if you saw me play the Lego Indiana Jones, the original Adventures game, Last Crusade levels, I kind of went to, Dad, you know, come on, Dad, we gotta go. And he's like, all right, Sean, you know, all that stuff. It, it very much is, like I said, the, the sort of comedy. And I think it's, it's a good thing because most of the comedy lands, I, I say most of the comedy lands, but not all of it. And some of it is just too much slapstick. It's like they went, okay, Temple of Doom was too dark, so let's have uh, Mr. Bean and Charlie Chaplin and all these funny guys from our past freaking, you know, just make you laugh. And that can kind of make it seem more kiddy and more cheesy and just more campy, you know? And it is what it is, but at the same time, you're looking at it and you're like, okay, most of the comedic stuff works. And there's a lot of heart. This is the first Indiana Jones movie and probably, uh, well, one of the only ones to have actual heart. Raiders and Temple didn't really have that. This one you connect with him and his father, even though some of it's a little bit slapstick. But the action here is still great. The writing is great. The acting is great. The storyline, while it is a little bit similar to Raiders of the Lost Ark, it is very much still a good, uh, you know, end for the trilogy. I don't think they were planning for a fourth. Um, and to say if this really was the end of the, uh, the Indiana Jones franchise, uh, I think it ended on a really well and strong note. So, uh, again, my only real issue, like I said, there's no, you know, crappy moments or, you know, anything like that. It really much is a great film. Uh, I do think that the end tank battle is really effing cool, but when you boil down to the comedy, 
a lot of it clicks, but then some of it doesn't. And then I'm just sitting there kind of cringing and being like, I didn't need that comedy. You know, it works, and it's funny, but it doesn't really work in the Indiana Jones world. And the, the only reason, the only reason why the comedy is so strong and prevalent in this film is because Temple of Doom was so damn dark. And they went, okay, we got to boil it down for some odd reason, you know. I don't need movies to be extremely dark to be good. Or I don't need movies to be extremely funny to be good, you know. Joker is not a funny movie. It's goddamn tragedy. The Lego Ninjago movie is a freaking comedy. And they both work because they're doing different things. Last Crusade, it tries to be a really cool action movie with a lot of unique elements and be a comedy. And you can't force those two together. If you watch the Ninjago TV show, you'll know that whenever they have uh, moments of levity or comedic moments in the Ninjago show, it likely or not, for me at least, doesn't work, because the Ninjago show is so focused on telling a mature story and great character development. And then when they throw some slapstick shit, you're like, Meh. you know what I mean? It's it's the same thing with, you know, a lot of the MCU movies. Uh, most of the MCU movies work for me, but take a uh, really quickly example, the Thor movies. Thor, Thor the Dark World, everyone hates it. I absolutely adore the Dark World. Uh, I like a lot of sequels everyone hates. Uh, but it, it kind of goes to that element where you're like, okay, Thor 1 and 2 were very not Super duper funny. Every I mean, every MCU movie has some kind of you know light moment. But then Thor Ragnarok went, F it, we're going all the way comedy. And, and Taika Waititi, he made the entire movie so friggin' funny. That's why Thor Ragnarok is my least favorite in the Thor trilogy. It's the most well made, has the best action scenes, and then Mumble and Thor goes, it's the most badass thing ever. But it just doesn't work because it's so funny. It's inconsistent with the character. Same thing with this. You take the comedy, and it works, but sometimes it doesn't because it's inconsistent with the franchise. So that is my only true negative of The Last Crusade is that sometimes the comedy doesn't work, and it kind of leaves me a little bit like cringy and kind of corny and just filled with cheese. It's like some of drip cheese all over me when I'm watching it. Uh, and not the good cheese. I'm talking about bad cheese, you know, stale crap. Uh, but still, I love Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. I really do think it's a good movie. Um, I did complain a little bit about the uh, comedy, but most of it worked. Some of it didn't. So I'm going to give Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade an A. Um, I believe I gave the first one an A, the second one an A-, minus, and this one an A as well. So I have not yet reviewed an Indiana Jones movie. That was perfect. I have not. I really do love this trilogy, and I think it's one of the best trilogies of all time. However, we have one more to go, and that is Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. This is going to be an interesting one, because there's a lot of a lot of hate for this movie, you know. Uh... I'll mention it, but I love sequels. I love I love movies that everyone hates. I love The Last Jedi. I love Crystal Skull, and you'll see. I have a few things, but you know, you'll see when I post that. Um, I love Cars 2. I love uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales and On Stranger uh, Tides. Uh, I love just, just, I don't know, just so many like Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. There's so many movies everyone poops on, and I absolutely adore. Maybe I'm retarded. I don't know, but still, I'm gonna have to give it like I said, Last Crusade an A. Just shy of a perfect movie in my eyes. Um, I cannot wait to review Crystal Skull. I already watched it as the time of filming this one. I just need to go and film it, so I'm going to film it probably right after I'm done filming this one. Um, so it'll already be done when this goes live. Uh, but I cannot wait to post that one. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Please tell me what you think about Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade in the comments below. Make sure to stay healthy and wash your hands and avoid touching your dirty little face. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.